What is going on guys? Today we are looking at Gully, the brand new hero SBC that you can do for very cheap to be honest. I was kind of not expecting a hero to be so cheap. An 86 and an 84. We haven't really looked at the card yet, but we have got Acrobatic and also Flare. 92 on the pace, 91 dribbling. I mean, on face value, looks a decent card, but we know pitchers can be deceiving. So let's have a look more in depth. We've got a four-star, four-star for him. I'm interested to see if we've got the price already. He's coming in 99,000. I don't think that's bad whatsoever. Right mid, right wing. Composure, good. Agility, balance, good. Passing's decent. Shooting, pace. I mean, in terms of a winger, this is a cracking one for very cheap. He is going to be with the team of Monaco. So, I want to say... Starting, okay. Starting the 25th of Feb. So, anything from today, if Monaco have played... I don't know, we haven't checked yet. But if Monaco have played today, it should be that they that counts. So basically, if they won today, he gets the points today. So we've also got Finesse, Dead Ball, Whipped Pass, Technical, Quick Step, and Relentless, as well as then our Playstar Pluses. He obviously can get the upgrade of 2. So we can get a 2 overall into a 92 if Monaco win their next 2 games or win... Two games out of the four, and also score 11 goals in four. I'd be interested to see if they do do it. And the question is, what chemistry style shall we go with? Because we've got 92 on the pace. Everything looks really good for him, to be fair to him. No votes at the moment. But if I was taking my money, we've got good pace. Agility balance is phenomenal, so we don't need finisher, really. I think you'd just go out and out hunter, to be honest. You end up with 99 pace, 94 shooting. You could, could you? I don't think you'd argue finisher really on this one because I know you've got a lot of pace, but realistically, you're more than happy to get the most amount of pace. The agility balance is already at that top level. You could, I suppose, go dead eye if you wanted to round everything off as more of a right mid. That'd be fair enough, but I think I'm just going to go all in out hunter. So let's jump him into the team. We'll see what it's all about. Let's get to him. Are you looking for gift cards, game keys, and more? Head over to U7 Buy for a variety of cards you can get today. From PSN, Steam, all the way to Xbox. With huge amounts of price variations, check the link in the description for cheap, reliable digital cards for you right now. Well then, let's give Gully a go. I actually, I felt like his UCL was semi-decent. Like, I mean, again, it's, it wasn't necessarily the... The top of the top right mid, but I, I felt like him and also Valali had quite a decent upgrade from their base to their UCL one. So I'm kind of hoping for a decent one at the minimum. Pace should be no problem as he skips past him into the Mbappe. He's read it. I was looking for something there, but I'm, I'm kind of expecting actually... A decent 100k winger. That is a ball and a half. Is he going to go across goal? He's going to go near post now. Good from Courtois. But I feel like he should be good enough for, for what his cost is, but definitely not at that top level. I don't see him being like the next best winger everybody's going to have, but I'm hoping he at least does expectations as a minimum. We're going to find him on the run here. Flair and Acrobatic as well. Acrobatic, that, that was atrocious. But Acrobatic is going to be more situational based. It's not going to be something I'll create every single match. And Flair, I feel like you'll get quite a few. It depends on how you play personally. But it should be relatively in there. And again, seeing him away. Oh, he's read the fake. The agility balance though, coming in absolute clutch there. I mean, when you're paying six mil for a team of the year, that is what you expect. Oh, can we get the backup? Where is he going? Run for what was it? What is his work rates? He had the perfect chance there. Oh, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Lovely. Little fake across. I love it. Ball roll into little slot. He's gonna get a second chance. Whip it across. Something, please. What is he? He's High medium. He should be bolting forward there. I don't understand why. He, he just almost didn't know if he wanted to move forward or not. Good tackle. Eto get the seconds. Can we see a little... No, nah, okay. Bi bisec. Why is he going... It just doesn't know. It's a weird team. It's definitely a weird, weird team. I don't, I'm not... 
I'm not seeing any any kind of big names that we normally see. So it's very interesting difference to say the least. And we get the keeper movement spot on. Looking for the outlay if we can. Look for that one, two in the middle. Can we get that little through? Nice. Now we get the pace. Yeah, the pace is beautiful from him. The 99 is definitely there. You can already see it. Can we get that? I was trying to tuck him under, but he just went absolutely for his belly. And again. Ooh, okay. He knew he was going to the right anyway. Good tackle. That's what I mean. I'm not... Oh, that is lovely driven. The agility balance is definitely a selling point for him, I think. Everything else... I'd, I'd say is what's to be expected. A standard winger. He's quick down the wing. May not give you anything massively different compared to what we've already got. When you look at the wingers that we've had, even in SBCs, come out recently, he's very standard in them regards. But then I'd also say the price of him definitely is good for a hero or oh, nearly is good for a hero in, in in terms of what cost we're going for there like 100k i kind of normally expect heroes and icons to at least be more inflated can we go oh lovely little traveller oh no okay good tackle but I, I must admit that that thing really caught me off guard the one that i haven't seen because i was away yesterday is how much alex scott was coming in at we will have a look at the end there can we go for a little loop that is definitely a handball if I've ever seen one. Have we got any free kicks with him either? That's another good tell. 95. Yeah, no. Not, not really. Lovely stuff. The left stick is phenomenal. Go on. Go on. Oh, it's beautiful. And again, is he going to make the run forward? It's, I mean, it's not the greatest of baller. Kind of. There's the Traveller. I mean, any hit and hope at this point. I feel like shooting looks all right. Nothing too crazy as we can imagine. Can we get the head? Nice this time. Dodo's going to try and give himself some space and pass the ball away. There it is. A little left stick. Nice. Tra Travella, anything? Something? Ooh, good ball. Ah, I thought we might have been able to scrape in the middle there. Forlan was eager to get involved. Tevez, absolutely. Ooh, it's the... No okay, why is he on the bench? I swear he's only just brought him on. That makes no sense whatsoever to have him on the bench. When I don't... I think what the strikers was a Centurion Smith or a Trailblazer Smith. That's beautiful. Bang. Oh, and Forlan answers back. But I'm trying to think who... Did he? I can't remember who else he had, but he definitely didn't have anybody better than Tevez. So I'm kind of unsure why he's not gone from up top. Good pace. This is the one. <laughs> Should learn never, never, never to tri to chip. Oh, this is the one, though. I don't say it again. I mean, what's wrong with me? What? What? Like, literally, I've scored five. Go, how on earth am I not burying that? <laughs> it's just so bad. And that's even worse. Oh, go on. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I was going to say some acrobatic, but Flair comes up first. Oh, there he is. There he is. Go for the acrobatic. Got to give it a try, haven't I? Travella. Finally. Gully gets himself the praise he needs. Oh, that's a good amount of pace. Oh, and it was so close. So going into the overall forum then. We're looking at the 90 rated. He's currently coming in at 98,000. SBC, like I say, is very cheap. 86, 84, no informs. Beautiful. Now, Alex Scott is also coming in at, see, 230. I just think, I get, like I said, I get that he's not necessarily the next, like, future breaking winger, but... 
he most definitely isn't an awful card nonetheless. When I, I think, well, we got Jockey and Relentless. Like, I mean, three, nearly 300k. I'd rather go do Carfu if I'm being brutally honest. I think Gully is an absolute steal for that much. You've obviously got the 88. That's coming in at 63. Base now is pretty much just total discard. So that is fair enough. But when we look, not at Acuna. If we look at Gully and the difference, you've got maybe a double upgrade from obviously this version. You then got a nice little bit of an upgrade from the, the, the previous base. Was he a 4-4? He was a 4-4, so he's kept that. He's kept his acrobatic, but then also the chance of this card going up as well. The fact that he could go to a 91, he could go to a 92. Whether that happens is going to be a big question. The one thing is, what fixtures does Monaco have? So they should have... When was their last game? So they had a game... I don't even know what it's... Today. So they actually won today. So if that counts... So it said start to the 25th, which should be today as well. So they won 3-2. They've got the first win. And three goals is on average. They have got... Whether it's the league or not, they've got PSG next at home. Strasbourg away. And then Lorient at home. Whether they can do it, it's going to be a big ass, but I could see Gully with at the minimum at least a plus one. And I think for 100k, a 91 rated winger, yes please, 100% of the time. If we kind of find what sort of rating he's in, because we've got the top of the top, the team of the years, the Messies, the Hansons, even the Frimpong, to be honest, you could put him anywhere across that pitch. Uh, Cole Palmer, Rashford's obviously up there. Jesus, more of a striker. Jarzinho, Garincha, obviously Garnacho and Doku. You've got Best, which I have on the left wing. I always forget that he's a right wing. Kelly's up there. Beckham's more of a centre mid. Futra is more left wing, obviously. Ramirez is mid. Salah is naturally the big shout, to be honest. So if we're looking at him, if I'm thinking... He's gonna. He's almost just like he kind of reminds me of that sort of a Dharma, but just a bit more polished. He's got incredible amounts of pace, physicality. Yes, not quite a Dharma's level, but in terms of just that quickness, kind of like a Nico Williams. Actually, that's kind of more the better shout. Obviously, he is again more of that pace and dribbling. Whereas I do find uh, kind of Gully with a bit more polished passing and shooting as well. So he kind of adds that almost factor, and you think. All of these cards are way more expensive. They're an extra 200k on top of what Gully's SBC is. I think it's just one to put into your club and hope he gets double upgrade. If he does manage to get one, I think brilliant. Even if he got none, I think 100k for this is not bad at all. The one, the one always thing that I like to see is what does a 90 rated card cost? We are looking at 40,000 coins at the minimum for a 90. 50 and 85 for the 92. So if he hits the 92, he's absolutely nail on the head. Pretty much the same price as if he was absolute discard. But I think for me, that is an easy one to complete. He's quick. He's got great agility balance. Shooting wise is not bad whatsoever. He's got a decent amount of passing. Yes, the play style pluses might not be the fully meta options that you want, but it still can do something. Always gets that free star as well from chemistry. French, Lee Gun. There's not much more to really add to him. I'd say Hunter, but I can imagine as... Okay, people are going Hunter. I could imagine Hunter and Deadeye would be the two be uh, two favourites. Obviously, Deadeye for a bit more passing, and then Hunter for that extra little bit of shooting. I didn't even... You wouldn't even go engine. I'm kind of thinking, because Deadeye doesn't give you any long passing, maybe you'd go for something else, but I personally would just go all and out Hunter. Let me know down below what you think, though, and I'll catch you all for the next one. Peace.